tell me why that when you order something and you get it, it feels like Christmas. Hey, y'all. I know it's been a while since I did a blog, so might as well do one now, right? <laughs> I should have been doing the blog every day of April, but I just didn't have anything to vlog about. Um, so, yeah. So, today I got something to vlog about. It feels like Christmas up in here. No, I'm just playing. Anyways, I had ordered myself something that I really didn't need to be ordering, but I got it anyways. I got it anyways. Why? Because I got tired of using my poor little bitty potty pot right here to be a deep fryer situation, if you know what I'm saying. So I went on ahead and I ordered me a freaking deep fryer. I just had to just say forget it and just do it. Well, what really made me go ahead and do it is because Walmart had one on sale and it was one of the ones that I had been wanting for since like forever. So I was able to get it. So I got my chef a deep fryer. All right. So check me out. I'm about to unbox it for you. Okay. So as you can see, it came nicely packed inside of this box. So I am going to sit this down, this camera down and try to get this box open as best I can. But before I do that, I want to find the necessary tools that I'm going to need to open this box. And of course, it's going to be a pair of scissors and of course, a box cutter. If you all see that. So I know I'm going to need that to open this box. So now in the meantime, I will take this camera and sit it down here on the tripod. Hopefully you all can get a glimpse of me trying to open this box. So this is what it looked like and I'm just going to start off so you all can see. I don't know if you all can hear me, but I, what I'll do is probably just cut that part, the talking part out and just get busy. Now I guys, I have never seen a box with this type of closure to it. So it's really going to take me to figure out how in the heck do I get inside of this box. Okay, so this is the one that Walmart had on sale. It was the Hamilton Beach. And this is the one I really, really been wanting for like forever because I wanted me a deep fryer with that basket. And now I got it. Okay. It was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Guess how much this thing cost, y'all? You're not going to believe what it cost. This is like a $40 deep fryer. No lying. This is like a $40 deep fryer. I got it for $20. Booyah! Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and open this part of it up. I'm going to like pull this table over so just in case if I need its assistance when it comes to opening this box because I don't want no mess. So inside of the box, we do have, I don't know if you guys can see, I hope I ain't got this boy upside down. It looked like it's not. Okay, good. So inside the box, we have the... Um, the little manual showing, you know, how to take care of it and all that good stuff. I was just going to say, I hope they have English in here, but I'm seeing a lot of Spanish. But, okay, I think the English part is to the front. Well, basically, it's just like the manual showing you how to troubleshoot things if you're having any issues or problems with anything. So, yeah, this is real, real, real handy. I hope that they had a cookbook in here. That would have been super good. But a lot of the times these things nowadays, they act like they don't want to share they, they secrets with us no more. They want to just make us figure it all out for ourselves. But it's cool. It's cool. So here is the lid. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is get everything unboxed. This is like the heating unit. 
to the deep fryer and you can see it's got the temperature control right there that's what i really really like because when you get something and it say oh put you got to put it on 420 or something like that and i'm sitting here like oh my god is this pot gonna get that hot or you know what i'm saying to where and then if it don't get that hot then your food is not being cooked the way that it should be cooked and that's gonna be a problem but anyways i'm glad that this has this and it also has a ready light i saw right there like once you turn it on it uh, this light i guess will come on to let you know that the thing is hot as you need for it to be to cook whatever it is that you need to cook Okay, so that's that. Okay, this is the little pan, which I think is super cool because this is what you would put your oil in. It don't have to be down inside of the fryer box. This is more like the fryer box. It's like, see what I'm saying? See, and how all of it come apart. And I remember reading that they said that this was dish, this thing is dishwasher safe. So you see how you can break this deep fryer apart and put it in a, in a dishwasher to uh, clean it. So that is another plus the reason why I went on ahead and I got this deep fryer. Okay. And it looks like to me it's very easy to put together. You put this on in here over the pan and it goes down in there in the bottom. Everything just snaps together. This is the plug. And I think this is the handle to the basket. Okay. I always want to be a deep fryer with the basket. Now I have it. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, now once I figure out how to put this on, I guess I'll be doing something, huh? I think I found it. <laughs> In here. And right there, see, see the little round holes there? Put it in there. Let's see if I can come up some so you guys can see. Right there and right there. I think that's how it goes. Now, that's it. <laughs> Very simple, right? I guess it will sit down here like that, okay? When you get ready to, like, this is where you put your grease in there. And it fills up. Then when the when the food or whatever is done cooking, you will sit like this. That is just so cool. And then that allows the grease to drain off of it. You ain't got to use no paper towels and all this. But I still would because sometimes uh, you still will have grease or whatever dripping off of the food once you're done with it. So yeah, I think that this would be great, like to fry my okra and different things like that. So that's my deep fryer, guys. Yay! Now, what did I do with that lid? Okay, now this is what the lid looked like. I hope you guys are seeing this pretty good. I don't know if I got enough light in here. Let's see. It's kind of like we having a dreary day, but I had to turn the kitchen light on, which gave me a little bit more light. But this is the um the lid to it. And um yeah, I'm trying to see what this is all about. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it too bad. Then I mess around and mess up. Okay, put this on like this. Like this. Let's do it this way. There it is. And like this lid is cool because when it's frying, you don't have to worry about uh, grease splattering all over the place. So yeah, I think this was something that I really, really, really been wanting. So I finally got it, y'all, and I'm so happy. <laughs> I just say I'm so happy because yeah, this is something that I had truly been wanting. So what I'm gonna do is to, I guess what I'm gonna do is make some. I'm going to make plan on making some burgers and fries later on. That's if my son want, um, cause I had made turkey burgers the other day and I don't know for sure if he's going to really want that again today, but I don't want that turkey meat to go bad either. So I'm going to have to either cook it up or I'm going to have to take it and put it where it can just be frozen. And, um, that way it won't go bad. That way I can just, you know, use it whenever, but I know I need to hurry up cause I do have seasoning and all that good stuff in it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and probably make some fries or something with this deep fryer later on today. So you guys stay tuned.
Here I am making my famous turkey burgers. That was the last of my meat. I let me go ahead and cook. But this is the fries in the deep fryer. And I got it all set up. And it's at the desired temperature that it's supposed to be. Was that we the 350 there? And the power light is on, so I'm letting the grease heat up. Let me see if I can show you exactly how that looks inside of there. See? And it is working because you wouldn't see that grease moving around like that if it wasn't getting hot. And yes, it is getting kind of warm in there. But once it gets to the, the, the temperature 350, then that little ready light supposed to come on. So then it'll be ready to do what it's got to do. But I just wanted to show you the whole setup. And it's ready to go. Okay, y'all, the element has gotten hot. It was saying it was ready. And I went on ahead and put the fries in there. And this is how it's looking. And they are cooking. They will cook like this for at least about a good five minutes, it says. Three to five, three to three and a half. I'm going to say five minutes to be on the exact side. And as you can see, here is my, um, well, I burnt myself. Here is my burgers. And they almost are done. Okay, so things are getting together here in Tracy's kitchen. Some good old turkey burgers. There's the fries. So yeah, it's coming together, y'all. It's coming together, y'all. So happy, yay! Okay, here is the top. I don't think I'm gonna need the top to go on there, but whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, so, I know, this completes the little vlog. These are the fries that I'm cooking, if you guys ever saw these before. You can get them out of Aldi's, and they was like a special buy. So, when I went in there today to get me another bag of them, they were gone. And they're not going to get no more in, because that store is based on seasonal type stuff. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. Um... And wraps up my little unboxing of my deep fryer. As you can see, it is working. And working good. Okay, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys later.